Welcome to MIB. I am Yemi Adenuga. Would you know that a few years ago, I learned the act of listening from my nine-year-old son, who was at the time just four. How did this happen? Here I was in the kitchen cooking, and then he comes up to me and was trying to tell me something that had happened in school. And I just carried on, and he was trying to get my attention. And I said, go on, go on, I can hear you. And he said, I know you can hear me, mom, but you're not listening. And here I was, being cautioned by a four-year-old <laughs> that I wasn't listening. I stopped in my tracks and I started to think. I could actually literally hear him, but I wasn't listening to what he was saying. I've paused for, de for deliberate reason. I'm sure you're wondering, why isn't she talking? Now I know you're listening to me. <laughs> talking all the while but for all you know you could just have been hearing me and doing something else but now I have your attention you're listening nobody teaches really how to listen I train people on how to speak publicly public speaking presentation how to compose yourself how to build your self-esteem how to build your confidence I train people in all of that but now, one of the things I've added to the training is the act of listening. When I was growing up, nobody told us how to listen. We all just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. And I'm sure it's possibly the same with you. We need to start to learn to listen. When we listen, we hear, we understand. A lot of the times when people are talking to us, when we think we're listening, we're actually listening with a mind to reply. We're not really hearing what they're saying. We just want to be able to give back a reply to what they're saying. We perhaps don't even understand what they're saying, but because we want them to finish and be out of our, our, our way, we just think, oh, come on, come on, come on, you're wasting time. So we're not really listening to them. We need to start to learn to listen. Now, listening is an act. It's not just a word, it's an action. So when someone's speaking to you and you really need to understand what they're saying, you need to stop thinking. You need to stop hearing everything else around you. And you need to focus on what that person is saying. If a lot of us listened a bit more, there'll be a lot less misunderstanding. There'll be a lot less miscommunication. Sometimes somebody says something to you and you perceive it the wrong way or you misunderstand what was spoken because you could only hear the words. You weren't listening to what they were trying to pass on to you, that particular message. If people listened more, relationships would be better because wives would understand husbands better and husbands would understand wives better. If people listened more, they would understand their children better and know when the children are going through tough times in school and know that it's time to go and fight it out for their children in school and not just tell the child, so what were you doing wrong that you have to get in trouble? I remember a short while ago when somebody accused my son of doing something in school. I listened to him and I knew that he was telling the truth. I went to the school, got it sorted, and my son actually needed an apology from the school and he got it only because I listened and I went and I fought for him. So please start to learn to listen. Stop when somebody is speaking to you. Don't just hear the sound of their voice. When people are talking to you, you can actually hear so many things around. Those things are distractions. But the act of listening requires you to focus on what that person is saying. That way, if there's something you don't understand, you can ask a question straight away and you can get a direct answer. There's no assumptions in listening. You get your answer as they truly are. So it's time to start listening, not just hearing. Right? I know you heard me today and you also listened. <laughs> so until next time, keep listening. 
to MIB. Be motivated. Stay inspired. Keep building yourself. God bless you.